And I've learned that a happy journey almost always depends on choosing the right traveling companion. I've learned that I was a part of a mess. I was part of a mess. Both my children are gone, and now there's still crumbs in the kitchen counter on the floor. I've learned that I was part of the mess. I've learned that we spend too much time wishing for things that we don't have and are missing the things that we do have. I learned that maturity has more to do with the types of experiences you've had from what you've learned from them than less to do with how many birthdays you've celebrated. I've learned that it's hard to kiss when you're smiling. And I've learned that an afternoon in my garden is better than an afternoon with a therapist. I've learned that you should never be a passenger on a one-seated bicycle. I've learned that after winning an argument with my wife, the first thing I should do is apologize. I've learned that doing something as a volunteer makes you feel better than if you were paid to do it. I've learned that a warm smile beams welcome to this moment. A warm smile beams welcome to this moment. I've learned that everyone wants to live on top of the mountain, but all the happiness and growth occurs while you're climbing. I've learned that children more often follow examples and not advice. I've learned that the love that accompanies the birth of a child exceeds your greatest expectations. And I've learned that your family sometimes won't be there for you. It may seem funny, but the other people you're not even related to can take care of you and love you and teach you to trust people again. Families aren't only biological. I've learned that the greatest test of friendship is to take a vacation together and still like each other when you return. And I've learned that although no one admits to liking to have the picture taken, everyone really does. I've learned that when you're writing letters to a family or a friend, I put a quote verse or a poem on the outside of the envelope. It's like sending a warm hug through the mail. I've learned that it's a very bad idea to telephone someone when you're angry with him. You should always wait until the next day. Always. I've learned that having a child late in life can be the best thing that ever happened to you, age 48. I've learned that no matter how hard I try, chocolate chip cookie dough never makes it to the oven. I've learned to have to listen to your brain. It has a lot of information. I've learned that nothing makes me feel prettier than when a guy holds the door for me. And I've learned that at age 20 I had no brains but a nice body, and at 30 I had brains and too much body. I've learned that the homemade banana cream pie will impress the man more than a new dress or a fancy hairdo. And I've learned that those who reach the goals too easily have aimed too low. And I've learned that there's no honesty like the honesty of a young child. I've learned that you should stop asking people for what they cannot give you and be content with what they can give. I've learned that you should never take out your teeth while flushing the commode. I've learned that your grandparents are always happy to see you, but they're even happier to see you go home. I've learned that a peacock today may be a feather duster tomorrow. I've learned that a mother never really leaves her children at home, even when she doesn't take them along. I've learned that all the advice in the world doesn't help some situations. There are many things that we have to figure out on our own. And I've learned that a compliment is appreciated by everybody, especially my spouse. And I've learned that it's hard to lie when you are looking into your mother's eyes. I've learned that nobody wants to know what you're doing until, doing, until you're doing something that you don't want anybody to know. And I've learned that when your newly born grandchild holds your little finger in his little fist, you're hooked for life. And I've learned that to accomplish much is to accomplish a little each day. I've learned that you should never know what is a red button is connected to before pushing it. I've learned that you should really know what the red button is connected to before you push it. I've learned that a rainy Sundays are great for snuggling, reading, napping, watching old movies, but not necessarily in that order. I've learned that no matter how good a friend someone is, they're going to disappoint you every once in a while, but you must forgive them for that. And I've learned that in this world, you don't need a multitude of friends. All you need is just one who will stand by you through thick and thin. I've learned that I can choose how I feel, but I cannot choose what I do about it. I've learned that if someone asks, how are you doing? It's not necessarily to give them a full report. I've learned that I never have insomnia when it's time to get up in the morning. I've learned that you should never jump off high dividing boards when you're wearing a bikini. I've learned that students paying their own way through college never flunk out. And I've learned that it's just a wrong to be rude to a child as an adult. In fact, it may be more unforgivable. I've learned that it's just wrong to be rude to a child as to an adult. I've learned that the values that you pass on to your children will affect generations. And I've learned that little children demand more physically and teenagers demand more emotionally. And I've learned that I drive faster in a good song when a good song comes on the radio. And I've learned that you can learn to tap dance at age 64. And I've learned that you shouldn't judge people too quickly. Sometimes they have a good reason for the way that they act. 
I've learned that I wish that I could hold my mom and let her know that I love her one more time before she had passed away. I've learned that after being on a diet for two weeks, all I lose is 14 days. I've learned that I shouldn't play with my mom's hot glue gun on the dining room table. I've learned that children need more smiles and hugs more than they need lectures and instructions. I've learned that every wedding involves at least one argument between the bride and her mother. I've learned that girls burp as much as boys. I've learned that I should keep my words soft and tender because tomorrow I may have to eat them. I've learned that when you harbor and when you harbor bitterness, happiness will dock elsewhere. I've learned that in a college dorm, sleeping is the only way to get some time to yourself. Of the best way to eat oatmeal is to feed it to the dog while your parents aren't looking. I've learned that men don't know what to do when a woman cries. I've learned that my hair always looks good on the day that I have an appointment to have it cut. And I've learned that true happiness is when your newborn sleeps through the night. I've learned that if either of your parents are angry, don't, and I repeat, don't ask for money. I've learned that when I get too close to people who are full of anger, their anger spills over onto me. But when I get close to people who are full of love, the love spills over onto me too. I've learned that it's just as much as fun at age 65 to ride a carousel as it was at age 5. I've learned that there's no better greeting than my dog waiting for me at the front porch wagging his tail. And I've learned that if I really want the last piece of pie, I should take it. I've learned that you shouldn't waste too much on today worrying about yesterday. I've learned that no matter how much I complain about it, my husband's snoring is a sound of security. I've learned that you don't know the value of a dollar until you've earned it yourself. And I've learned that getting into the chicken, getting to, to the kitchen and cooking a healthy meal with the radio on relaxes me at the end of a stressful day. And I've learned that you should never change everything in your life at once. Keep some things the same just for stability so that it's easier to remember who you are. I've learned that nothing beats the taste of a slab of your own homemade bread fresh from the oven slathered with a spoonful of your own homemade jam. I've learned that you shouldn't marry a man simply because the rest of your family's in love with him. I've learned that while your mileage wears out in your automobile, walking three miles a day keeps my body in shape. And I've learned that life is tough, but I'm tougher. And I've learned that if you pray for your enemies, you will stop. If you pray for your enemies, you'll actually stop hating on them. I've learned that opportunities are never lost. Someone will take one. Some will take the one you miss. I've learned that when my desk is clean and organized, I can't find anything. I've learned that someone and some people go for brains and some for beauty, but everyone appreciates a good sense of humor. I've learned that there's nothing, nothing sweeter than sleeping with your babies and feeling their breath on your cheeks. And I've learned that no one is perfect until you fall in love with them. And I've learned that I've learned more in my college dorm than I did in any classroom. And I've learned that it gives me great pleasure to describe the best thing that happened to me today in my daily journal. I've learned that marrying is an extrovert when when you're an introvert can be a good, can actually be good for you. Marrying an extrovert when you're an introvert can be good for you. And I've learned that when my child gets upset, he calms down much sooner if I stay calm. And I've learned that what matters is not that you be the best, but that you try your best. And I've learned that even if you've never had a pimple on your end of your nose before, one will show up there a week before prom. And I've learned that regardless of an airport, the shuttle bus for you, Regardless of the airport, the shuttle bus for your rental car company is always the last to arrive. And I've learned that everyone you meet deserves a first smile. I've learned that men would rather be lost for hours than stop and ask for directions. And I've learned that the patience and love, to have patience and love and show your children with surface when they reach the age of 13. And I've learned that the patience and love you show your children will surface when they reach the age 13. I've learned that you can have the most interesting conversations while having your own teeth cleaned. And I've learned that people love to get letters from friendly and family, from friends and family, no matter what the subject is or the length of the letter. I've learned that the fire of the past love will always burn with a small flame. And I've learned that I've always think of the right thing to say when it's too late. And I've learned that I like plant. I like to plant my neighbors' favorite flowers in my flower boxes so they can see and enjoy them. And I've learned that commercials for feminine products always come on when you are sitting in the living room with men. And I've learned that one of the best things that you can do for your children is to introduce them to books. And I've learned that having good hair is better than having good legs. And I've learned that love, not time, heals all wounds. 
I've learned that it isn't always enough to be forgiven by others. Sometimes you have to learn to forgive yourself. I've learned that the easiest, it's the, I've learned that the easiest way for me to grow as a person is to surround myself with people smarter than I am. I've learned that I shouldn't go shopping when I'm depressed. I'll always buy too much. And I've learned that the Lord didn't do it all in one day. Well, what makes me think I can? I've learned that your views on other people's children is a whole different light when you have one on your own. And I've learned that even more if you move 1,500 miles away, your mother still tells you what to do and you still feel like you have to do it. And I've learned that people always underestimate, underestimate my ability. But one thing they should never underestimate is the drive behind my ability. And I've learned that when I walk in a room at the end of a day, I always feel better if my bed is made. And I've learned that adding extra spices can't cover those cooking mistakes. And I've learned that when your phone doesn't ring, you should ring someone else's. And I've learned that when your wife, is simp when your wife simply answers nothing, when you ask her, what's wrong, you're in deep trouble. I've learned that I get a lump in my throat every time I think of the day when my daughter will marry. I've learned that when you plan to get even with someone, you're only allowing the person who you hurt to hurt you longer. And I've learned that I wouldn't feel 85 years old if I didn't look in the mirror. And I've learned that to ignore the facts does not change the facts. And I've learned that if you want to remember your wedding anniversary forever, just forget it once. And I've learned that my mom brags when she gets the TV remote control. And I've learned that the kind of adults my children are now is directly related to the kind of children I continually told them they were. And I've learned that after all these years, I still have a crush on my wife. I've learned that whenever I go to my grandma's house, I come home with at least a dollar in change. I've learned that when you want a garment to shrink, it won't. And when you don't, it will come out of the dryer and fit your cat. And I've learned that when my dog does his job, I feel relieved. I've learned that it really doesn't hurt a child to go to bed without a bath. I've learned that a smile is an inexpensive way to improve your looks. And I've learned that if you're still talking about what you did yesterday, then you haven't done much today. And I've learned that I shouldn't confuse the green tube of Ben Gay with the green tube of hemorrhoidal ointment. And I've learned that when your five-year-old lies down on the couch, I've learned that when your five-year-old lies down on the couch, she's sick. I've learned that your I can is more important than your IQ. I've learned that when my best girlfriend tells me that she's angry with her boyfriend and that it's okay if I go out with him, she really does not mean that. And I've learned that when someone gives you something, never say you shouldn't have. And I've never ever, I've learned never to humiliate another person. I always give him an honorable way to back down or out of something and still save face. I've learned that successful parenting is convincing each other of your children that he or she is your favorite. And I've learned that it's fun to brighten someone's day by surprising her with a plate of homemade chocolate chip cookies. And I've learned that you shouldn't judge a person unless you've talked to him one-on-one. -on -one. I've learned that your ACT score doesn't predict the rest of your life. And I've learned that to gather all the crumbs of life, all the crumbs that life throws away, as soon as you form a lovely sweet slice of treasured memories. And I've learned that you don't really know someone until you've been to a casino together. I've learned that dinner rolls bake a lot faster if the oven is turned on. I've learned that if you share your garden, you will be rewarded tenfold. I've learned that when you feel down, nothing picks me up like hearing your mom say, I'm proud of you. I've learned that no matter how bad your heart is broken, the world does not stop for your grief. I've learned that the janitor is the most important person in the building. I've learned that you could say anything you need to say if it's done in kindness. I've learned that when someone says, I love you, she's really asking, do you love me? I've learned that if for nothing else, boyfriends are good for squishing those big brown spiders that appear in the bathtub. And I've learned that when I awake aching at various joints of thinking, oh, what was the use? If I, got, if I get out of bed, done some clothes, splash cold water on my face, put on a little lipstick, I could face the world another day. I've learned that you're never too old to learn something from Sesame Street. I've learned that little boys cry more than little girls when getting shots. I've learned that under everyone's hard shell is someone who wants to be appreciated and loved. And I've learned that you should never hire a plumber who bites his fingernails or an electrician who has singed eyebrows. I've learned that you have spilled something on yourself. The first person to tell you is the last person you see at the end of the day. And I've learned that no matter the ages or how far away they may be, you never stop wanting to keep a protective arm around your children. 